Oh, I say. There's a real fox on page three. Hand, you know, Basil. Yeah, but my tea would go cold. How selfish of me. <laughs> Sorry. Forgiven. <laughs> Besides, the glue plays havoc with my fur, you know. <laughs> I had to soak my brush overnight. I belt up. Hey, you want to try sleeping with your pride and joy dangling in a jar of turps? <laughs> <laughs> A bit touchy today, aren't we? If you're trying to imply that I'm throwing myself into decorating this flat to give the illusion of usefulness, cos I'm fed up that my showbiz career is going nowhere fast and you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> What was it you decorated? A blooming cake? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's hopeless. I mean, look at me. Do I have to? I've just had my breakfast. <laughs> what have I got going for me? Oh, that's a taffy. Can I phone a friend or uh, ask the audience? I should be sporting a fake tan and wowing a baying crowd. <laughs> but no. I'm wearing overalls and waving a gluey brush around. I'm a failure. And what's more, everyone knows it. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> Besides, nobody really thinks you're a failure. Morning, Basil. Morning, failure. <laughs> I'm sure Miss Molly was only joking. And look at the state of this place. I know I should have got a professional in. No respect. That's the problem with kids today. This takes real skill, you know. If anyone needs me, I'll be up my ladder. <laughs> He trained for this, you know. Hey! Oh, useless, useless! Pack it in, will ya? Some people need their kit, you know. And that reminds me, you didn't come home till three in the morning last night. The financial market never sleeps, Stephen. Dave, you're ten. Where were you? I had some business with one-eyed Spud and Trombone Johnson, didn't I? They're dangerous people, Dave. If you don't mess with them, I should know. I can look after myself. <laughs> One-eyed Spud and Trombone Johnson. I've a good mind to ring their mums. <laughs> cool! That was a quick change, young Dave Milan. Time and tide rights for no man. Where there's a deal to be done, there's a Dave to do it. Oh, yeah, Mo, I've got an order from Anil about a new batch of rock cakes. As soon as possible. I can't make any more cakes. I've got no ingredients. Well, um... Pop down to the shop and get yourself some. This should be enough. Oh, please, Mo, I promised him. Well, you can cook them then. Drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Latest taters. Oh, what it's like to be in demand. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't know, would I? Failure. Useless Eustace. You heard him buzz on my own flesh and blood. Ah, they were just joshing. I'm sure that deep down they really respect you. Oh, yes, yeah, Stephen. If any of my friends ring, can you pretend to be someone else? <laughs> <laughs> Made a good job of that. Or what? I'm afraid the answer is. What? <laughs> hey? You've papered over the plumbing door, you clone. <laughs> oh, you could have told me. Yeah, but you seem so happy. And besides, I thought it might get a laugh. It would be your first today. <laughs> I am sick of being a figure of fun. I'm going out! In the middle of the show? But where to? I'm going to find a pier, walk to the end of it and do my magic act or maybe some balloon modelling. <laughs> and you wonder why Variety's dead. <laughs> <laughs>
So you see, chaps, Mr. Stephen is feeling a little blue. I hope Stephen doesn't do anything silly. Yeah, me too. He owes me five pounds and forty-two pence. <laughs> Ow! That hurt. Good. Dude, the way I've been treating him, I feel terrible. Don't be so hard on yourselves. OK, can I have another milkshake? <laughs> the fickleness of the female. If we could only get him a booking, performing somewhere, if he could entertain, he could die a happy man. Yeah, but you'd only muck it up. Who in their right mind's going to give him a booking? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> it would take a real super idiot to save this situation. But where are we going to find one of those? <gasps> <laughs> Whatever it is, the answer is no. <laughs> no! 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 Yes! I must be mad agreeing to this, but uh, yeah, okay. Yay! Yes! Stephen can perform a gig as a tryout. Oh, Mr. O'Neill, you are a scholar and a gentleman, <laughs> and a complete raving loony. <laughs> no, only joking. This place will be packed to the rafters, you know, when word gets round that a West End star is performing live magic here. You didn't tell me he performed in the West End. Oh, yes. He used to have a regular spot of a Saturday night. Uh, whereabouts? At Leicester Square. Wow. Yeah, busking outside the tube station with his little banjo lily in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, Basil. You know, you're the funniest fox I know. Ah, uh, yes, well, uh, thank you very much. You're a very kind man. Uh, six pound fifty, please. Money? <laughs> What is it with you and Manny? It's your blooming downfall. Call me old-fashioned, Basil. All right, you're old-fashioned. <laughs> but I prefer it when folk pay for their drinks. Dave, pay the man. Tell me what. I'll toss you for it. Double or quick. Yes. Right. That's a grand total of £17,000 and 25 pence you owe me. Will you take a check? Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is Pavel, and he's from Prague. Oh, go easy on him. He'll go far, that boy. <laughs> oh, now to find Mr. Stephen and break the good news about his forthcoming gig. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, I don't know. The label's fallen off, hasn't it? <laughs> How old are you? Nine years and 364 days. If you want to see ten, I suggest you get lost. Make me. Don't tempt me. You're sick, you are, playing with balloons at your age. <laughs> For your information, I'm practising the ancient medieval art of balloon modelling. I am an entertainer. Oh, yeah? And what's that supposed to be, then? A dog. <laughs> Or a German tank. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you young bastard! You see that? That nasty little light ran all over my brush, he did. On purpose, too. Nasty little hooligan. <sighs> I blame the parents, you know. <clears throat> what do you want, Basil? Come to rub salt in my wounds. Oh, contraire. I bring tidings of joy. I've only gone and got you a booking. A booking? Is there an echo in here? A booking! <laughs> booking! 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 Let me guess. A one-way train ticket to nowhere. <laughs> Good idea, but no. <laughs> See? You even got a laugh then. <laughs> Things are looking up already. Hey, but that says nothing to the gales of laughter and the thunderous applause when you perform tomorrow in front of a live audience. In front of a live audience? Well, there will be when you start. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> boom, boom! You're telling me you've really got me a gig? Would I lie to you? Uh, don't answer that. <laughs> yes, it's true. Madam, your stage awaits. I'm going to perform. That's brilliant. Where is it? Annals. <laughs> you know, for a minute there, I thought you said annals. Look, it's a step on the ladder. Yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, you'll have them begging for mercy. I mean more. <laughs> come on, come on. Think of that being crowd. Thanks, Basil. Now come here and give us a kiss, you clever little fox. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
Annals, mm. here I come. Mm. I shudder to think what he'd do to me if I got him a gig at the Albert Hall. <laughs> Bond, topper, balloons. Charisma. That's everything? Your talent, charm, good looks. I've got the lot, Mum. Careful. Don't think Anna would thank me if I was sick all in his cakes. He's paying you for those, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I got Dave to negotiate a really good deal for me. Oh, he has his uses, the little monster. Anyway, I'd love to stop and chat, but I've got a gig to go to. Now, all I need is a glamorous assistant. <laughs> What do you think, Jeps? Eh? Not too over the top, is it? Uh, amazing what you can do with half a pound of bananas, bag of plums, and a little imagination. <laughs> oh, hello, lady. Hello, gentleman, mate. Is this the post office? Oh, don't be daft, Iris. It's the butchers. <laughs> I wonder where the toilet is. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, actually, never mind. <laughs> Please, don't clap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See you not. <laughs> A baying crowd, hey, Basil? Me just need warming up, that's all. <laughs> Anyone got a blue torch? <laughs> I'll break your kneecaps. Yeah! <laughs> Guy wouldn't want to upstage Mr. Stephen in his moment of triumph. I think I'll just slip out the back door. The actual scenes of Stephen's gig have been removed from the show on the grounds of taste and decency. I nearly lost my breakfast, I can tell you. <laughs> all right, all right, don't build a pot. We're overrunning as it is. <laughs> Basil! Come here! I want a word with you! Oops, I'm off. Where is he? A flaming kill him! Here, you haven't seen a fox with a basket of fruit on his head, have you? No! Huh? So that's where you're hiding. Hiding? Me? No! <laughs> I'm just checking the cupboard. <laughs> yes, and I'm no expert, but this certainly seems to be one all right. Congratulations, sir. You are the father of a lovely cupboard. You must be very proud. The <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. This is serious. He's on the sauce. Boom, <laughs> <laughs> boom, he's on the sauce. <laughs> oh, dear. And cut. <laughs> ah, the ring of another satisfied customer. Molly's hotcakes are selling well like hotcakes. Still. Hardly pays for the damage, does it? Well, think of the damage to young Mr. Stephen. <laughs> Who's going to pay for that, eh? <laughs> How do you rebuild the ruined career? Oh, it's making me cry. Yes, it's a tale of woe, all right. That's not making me cry. This onion is... <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the script. Evil script! Get off me! Get off me! So, that settled then, is it, Mr. O'Neill? You'll give Mr. Stephen another chance? He's trouble. I, I can't afford it. I'll do another loads of cakes. Free. Yeah. And I'll do the marketing and get some fly posters printed up. See? Even young Mr. Scrooge is entering into the spirit. I think you'll find my rate's very competitive. What about Stephen? 
He said he'd never perform again. Ah, uh, leave him to me. I'll just weave the old basil magic on him. <laughs> He'll be powerless to resist. The tragedy is... It's true. <laughs> For me, show business means no business. <sighs> Mr. Stephen, you mustn't give up. You have a talent, a rare talent. In fact, so rare it hasn't actually been identified yet. <laughs> but you must persevere. You must get back on that bicycle we call showbiz straight away. No, you're right, Basil. I am. That's a novelty. I can't give up on my dreams just like that. You can't? Ooh, will I never? <laughs> I was born to entertain. It's in my genes. They're at your sleeve. I can see them. I think you're totally... Oh, yeah? There's something else up my sleeve, you little freak. <laughs> this! Oh, oh, be careful, Mr. Stephen. He's bigger than you are. Oh, 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 it's horrible. Oh, oh, I, oh I can't watch. I can't watch. Oh, oh, maybe I can. Oh, uh, uh, what should we do now? Uh, leg it. My <laughs> posters are up all over town. Yes, and I've been telling everyone just how good you are. Really? Yes, but don't worry, she spared them the truth. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's OK. Look, thank you, everyone, for being so supportive, but maybe I'm just not cut out for all this. Hello? Yes, it is. You seen the posters? A party? For 25? I'll just see if we can squeeze you in. Well, can we? Oh, go on, Mr. Stephen. The world of entertainment needs you. <laughs> Not quite sure what for, but it needs you. I don't know, Basil. You can do it, Stephen. Can't he, Dave? Would no spoil things? <laughs> yes. No! Will you stop doing that? So what will Stephen decide? Will he brave the stage again? Or will we all get a chance to go home early? Maybe do some shopping? Excuse me. <laughs> There's a sale on down at the world of PVC. There's a lovely poof I've got my eye on. Oh, hello, Basil. Hey, what are you doing with my microphone? Basil, Basil, that's not very nice. Wow! <laughs> Just a little technical difficulty. Sorry to keep you in suspenders. <laughs> now, where were we, chaps? Oh, yes, Mr. Stephen, your answer, please. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> With special effects like that, who needs Hollywood? <laughs> Thank you. Too kind. And for my next trick, I'm going to make something disappear. Yeah, the blooming audience, if you carry on like this. Oh, don't worry about me, Basil. I'll knock them dead. Yeah, well, it would be kinder than doing your act. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Now, some might say I'm taking a big gamble here, leaving you two in charge of my cakes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not cancelling my Swahili lesson. So I'll see you to Eternals with the cakes, OK? OK. Kiku. I'll take you down there, Mum. Where are you off to? Yeah, I've got a shipment of conkers coming in from Uruguay. Chatty bra. Now remember, gas mark for 25 minutes. Right. Gas mark... 25 for... Uh, Four mins. Uh, oh, whatever. Uh, They're only uh, cakes. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Ooh! Now there's an invitation to keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Mr. Stephen, didn't wardrobe department give you some oven gloves for this scene? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> a twelve-year-old girl can do it, so can we. Mm. We'll just follow the recipe. What recipe? Any recipe. 
How about a recipe for a disaster? <laughs> <laughs> right. X. And flour. <laughs> Fruit. <laughs> and sugar. <laughs> then just beat it. It's enough to make a monkey bite its young. <laughs> oh, say, sorry we're late, Jeff. <laughs> Blooming autograph hunters. <laughs> no matter how hard we tried, we couldn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> the party's here. N now go and get ready. Quick. Oh, make up, Mr. Stephen. <laughs> To Anil's. Do what? Now listen up, sunshine. You better have something good in the way of entertainment here. Only my little prince, the birthday boy, is still getting over his shock. Oh dear, what happened? He was attacked in a park yesterday by a loony and a scabby dog. <laughs> this place stinks! I want to keep bad. Growing lad loves his grab. Yeah, he's a bit big for his age, isn't he? <laughs> Go on. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Uh, boys and girls, uh, please show your appreciation for the one and the only Mr. Steven! It's him! It's that loony and his scabby dog! Right! Well, I'll be off then. <laughs> Leave them wanting more. That's my motto. <laughs> Break a leg! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is terrible! Somebody should stop it! You got any more cakes? Of course. Uh, five for a dozen or six for a ten, man. Can we see him yet? I've just had a word with the doctor. Is he going to be OK? Yes, he's in a stable condition. <laughs> <laughs> this is not funny! <laughs> stable condition! <laughs> Mr. Stephen. I'm not talking to you, so get lost. Yeah, but I've had a word with the writers and prevailed upon them to rewrite that last scene in the hospital. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks to you, I've already got one busted leg. I am not gonna bust the other one, so shove off! <laughs> well, seems a shame to waste it. <laughs> I may as well do it myself. <laughs> Can I peel you another grape, Basil? I'm ready for my bed bath now, Miss Amanda. Oh, you cheeky little fox. <laughs> <laughs>